So Legionnaire's disease, that phrase was coined in Philadelphia back in 1976 at the Bellevue Stratford Hotel when a Legionnaire's convention was taking place at the hotel and uh, there was a chemical imbalance in, in the cooling towers uh, with stagnant water that through mist made its way through the HVAC system and unfortunately some people passed away as a result of this. Legionella bacteria can be present in many water systems, whether it be cooling towers on top of a building, a water feature in the lobby of a building, or even water that's just been sitting stagnant on a desk or a cup. Not so often, but the possibility is still there. Legionella levels are found in most cooling towers, but at a very low level. It's when those levels exceed a certain amount that yet then the warning bell goes off. One of the reasons that it has come back up is people trying to effectively operate their equipment are trying to bring down some of the temperatures in their cooling towers and it's not having a chance to kill off the disease. There was an outbreak of Legionnaires up in the Bronx. I believe there was eight to 12 people that actually died as a result. The way it's managed is just through the proper balance of water treatment and that's where our water treatment providers come in, making sure that we are managing the correct levels of bacteria, managing the correct inhibitor levels within the cooling tower by adding chemicals, chlorine, whatever the case may be, depending on the size and type of the system. The cooling towers are clean commercially twice a year in most sites monthly monitoring by an outside vendor, the maintenance director of maintenance super, they do weekly testing. There's a plan to proactively address any positive result. If we do all that, if we test fairly regular, Legionella is something that's very easily uh, kept under control.